UFC 302 Mahachev vs. Poirier took place on June 1st in front of a sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. The event brought in $7.25 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention pay-per-view revenue, sponsorships, and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? The New Jersey State Athletic Control Board does not disclose fighter pay information, so the purses I'll be showing in this video are just estimates based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card, Alessio Zaleski Dos Santos didn't get any help from the referee as he survived two eye pokes from fellow welterweight Randy Brown in the first round. In the second, he came out strong, landing a huge right hand and used his wrestling to control Brown for the majority of the round while threatening with submission attempts. Randy came back in the third, cutting Alessio open with a big knee and taking the round on all judges' scorecards, giving him the unanimous decision win. Zaleski Dos Santos took home $86,000 to show and $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $97,000. While Brown made $98,000 to show and $98,000 for the win, $16,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a total of $212,000. In the second fight, welterweight Nico Price escaped a couple of compromising positions in the first round against Alex Morano. The fight was sloppy at times, and as it went on, Morano began to fade in the later rounds, and Price's fist started to find a home as he connected with big shots. By the final bell, Murano was completely exhausted and the scorecards came down as a unanimous decision victory for Nico Price. Murano brought in $112,000 to show and $21,000 in sponsorship for $133,000 on the night. While Price earned $74,000 to show and another $74,000 for the win, along with $16,000 in Venom sponsorship for a total of $164,000. The third fight lasted only half a round as Kevin Holland mangled Mihal Olekshechik's arm with a nasty armbar. Olekshechik scored a knockdown off a hard left hand, but as he rushed in for the finish, Holland locked in a deep armbar and cranked it until the fight was called off, taking the submission victory. Olekshechik earned $69,000 to show and $11,000 in sponsorship for a total of $80,000. And the winner, Kevin Holland, brought home $182,000 to show and another $182 for the win, the maximum non-championship $21,000 in sponsorship pay, along with a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, and a total of $435,000. Sean Strickland smothered fellow welterweight Paul Acosta with his signature pressure for the majority of their five-round co-main event. Costa was unable to mount a significant attack off the back foot, apart from consistent calf kicks and the occasional striking combination. The fight didn't really open up until the final seconds, when Strickland chased Costa down, scoring a head kick knockdown. Bizarrely, one judge scored all but one round for Costa, while the other two scored at 50-45 and 49-46 for Strickland. But the result ultimately remained the same, as Strickland took the split decision victory. Prior to the fight, Sean discussed his current contract situation. Yeah, no, I'm happy. I mean, again, you know, like with the UFC, you always think you, you should get paid more, and I probably should get paid more, but, you know, it's a it's a path to, like, you know, it's a path to where, like, my hard work pays off, you know, so I'm happy with it. You, the, you know, anytime you're dealing with these fucking, you know, corporate overlords, it's always a fucking fight, dude. It's always a fucking fight, so. But I, I'm happy with it. I think they did the right thing for me. Um, obviously, there's always, you know, I should have made more. I should have got more, but and I think the UFC did the right thing. Costa took home $250,000 to show and $6,000 in sponsorship for $256,000 on the night. While the former champ Sean Strickland made $165,000 to show and $165 for the win, $21,000 in Venom sponsorship and a total of $351,000. And finally, in the main event of the evening, the challenger Dustin Poirier gave a valiant effort against the champion and pound-for-pound pound number one Islam Mahachev. But after a four-round war, Mahachev locked in a Darsh choke in the fifth to retain the lightweight title. Dustin's wrestling defense had held up until that point, and he was able to stuff most of Islam's takedown attempts. Both men finished the fight bruised and bloodied, but it was Mahachev who secured his 14th win in a row and third title defense. 
Poirier received $500,000 guaranteed, the challenger's rate of $32,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a well-deserved $50,000 fight of the night bonus. And being a pay-per-view draw at his own right, it's very possible that Poirier received pay-per-view points for this fight. However, since he's not a defending champion, and we don't have access to his contract details, I'll assume that he did not receive any back-end pay, which would take his total to $582,000. However, if he did earn pay-per-view at the standard rate, assuming $600,000, buys based on the talent on the card, that would more than double his paycheck to $1,182,000. And still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion Islam Mahachev took home $500,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in sponsorship, along with both a $50,000 fight of the night and performance of the night bonus, and his champion's cut of the pay-per-view revenue, coming out to a grand total of $1,242,000. That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC Fight Night Cannoneer vs. Imavov.